Gaikindo Indonesia International Auto Show. The motor show organized annually by Gaikindo, Indonesia's Automobile Association, has been growing in importance since 1986. It is now internationally recognized and some car manufacturers use it for the global unveiling of new products. This year, the event was held at a new convention center with more space and exhibitors spared no expense to build impressive pavilions. 2016 Honda BRV Honda has developed a new compact model which is a crossover between a SUV and MPV. Known as the BRV, it is about the size of the Toyota Avanza which it will compete with. The 1.5 litre model has three rows of seats and can seat seven persons. It will be built in Indonesia and sales will start early 2016. However, Honda Malaysia has not confirmed whether it will sell the model here in Malaysia. Hyundai RM15 Concept This mid-engine coupe concept makes a statement about Hyundai Motors' passion for performance and its expertise in development of advanced vehicle technologies and materials. The core structure of the RM15 is based on an aluminium space frame cloth in light, stiff body panels formed in carbon fiber reinforced plastic, together achieving a significant weight saving compared to a conventional all-steel vehicle. It is not planned for production and certainly not priced at 15 ringgit. Better ASEAN NCAP result for Mitsubishi Triton Following the result of the first crash test conducted on the new Mitsubishi Triton by ASEAN NCAP, the organization has also reviewed the results conducted by the Australian NCAP. It was found that a higher variant of the Triton tested by the organization in March 2015 scored a better result of 15.22 points for its Adult Occupant Protection AOP, which is in the 5-star range. The Audi Driving Experience The Audi Driving Experience is an exclusive event through which Audi conveys its brand values and technological prowess to existing owners and potential owners in many different countries. The program, which began some 30 years ago, has different formats although the underlying objective is to impress and delight with the one thing that customers appreciate, driving. Besides serving as a marketing tool, the program also contributes a bit to driving safety by providing advanced driving lessons to participants. Increase in new vehicle sales In spite of less working days due to a number of holidays, New vehicle sales picked up as the second half of the year began with an increase of 2.1% in the total industry volume of 1,209 units more than June to 58,646 units. The increase was a tribute to the Hari Raya festive season and aggressive sales promotion by many companies. This is the third consecutive month of increased sales since May. Subscribe to our Motor Trader YouTube channel for more Auto News Roundup.